Hey there, fellow mystery enthusiasts. Welcome back to Context Aware. I've got a jaw-dropping archaeological discovery that's going to make you feel like you've just stumbled upon a hidden treasure chest in a long-forgotten dungeon. Archaeologists in Italy have just blown the lid off a massive secret buried deep beneath the earth, and it's a find that could rival even the legends of Pompeii. Hold on to your fedoras, folks, because we're about to dive headfirst into a tale of ancient coins, Roman gods, and a city that's been hiding its secrets for centuries. So picture this, Italy, the land of pizza, pasta, and, well, plenty of history. We all know about the ancient Romans, right? But what if I told you that there's a place near modern-day Bologna that could give Pompeii a run for its money? That's right. Our fearless archaeologists, armed with shovels and maybe a touch of curiosity, have stumbled upon a treasure trove of over 3,000 coins and 50 dazzling gems. And guess what, my dear viewers? These coins are not just your ordinary pocket change. No, Sairi. They're emblazoned with the images of ancient Roman deities. I mean, who needs modern currency when you can have coins that practically scream I'm divine. Now, let me introduce you to the star of our show, Claterna, or Clatane. If you want to be fancy about it, it's a Roman town that's been hiding these incredible treasures all these years. Can you believe it? And you know it's a big deal when even the Italian Undersecretary of State to the Ministry of Culture, Lucia Borgonzoni, says, we can probably speak of a Pompeii of the North. That's like comparing the discovery of a new dinosaur to finding a T-Rex in your backyard. It's that colossal. But wait, there's more. Before this incredible find, Claterna had already given us a sneak peek into its ancient past with a forum, streets, colorful mosaics in a dwelling, and even Roman baths. It's like a real lifetime capsule. And they just keep adding more layers to the mystery. This magical place just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Now, let's talk about those coins, because they're the real stars of the show. Most of them are made of silver and bronze. And trust me, you'd want to get your hands on these beauties if time travel was an option. But what makes them truly special is one little fella called the Quinarius. It's a rare silver coin minted way back in 97 B. C by the Roman Republic. And guess where they found it? Hidden in the remains of a corridor in a former theater. Talk about a hidden treasure hunt right under our noses. And here's the kicker, folks. That little Quinarius not only tells us when the structure was built, end of the first century B. C. But it also drops a knowledge bomb that Claterna wasn't just some quaint pilgrimage site. Nope. It was a bustling center of commerce for the ancient Romans, with direct connections to the big kahuna itself, Rome. I mean, who knew that this sleepy town was actually a hotbed of business back in the day? The things you learn from a single coin, right? But that's not all, because we've got gems. Not just any gems, mind you, but colorful gems engraved with the likenesses of various deities and important structures, including that theater I mentioned earlier. It's like the ancient Romans were into bling and wanted to flex their jewelry game, even back then. Who knew they were so fashion forward? Now don't pack your bags just yet, because this archaeological adventure is far from over. The excavations at Claterna are ongoing, and so far, they've only scratched the surface, uncovering just one-tenth of the city. That's around 44 acres, or 18 hectares if you're into the nitty-gritty details. The Ministry of Culture has big plans, my friends. They want to restore that ancient theater for future use. Imagine watching a play there and knowing that you're sitting on centuries of history. It's like a time-traveling theater experience. But here's the twist in the tale, or should I say, the question that keeps me up at night. What other secrets lie buried beneath the earth at Claterna? A large part of the site is still waiting to be discovered, as Francesca Tomba, the superintendent of Bologna, put it. So, what's next for Claterna? Will we uncover more treasures, more mysteries, 
and perhaps even more evidence of its vibrant past. One thing's for sure, my fellow adventurers, we're in for an epic journey of discovery, and context-aware, we'll be here every step of the way to unravel the enigma of Claterna 